30 full seconds of this Disney Castle magic bull I swear every movie stretches this another full second. Walt Disney rips off Warner Brothers Harry Potter font because why the hell not? Pirates of the Caribbean 9, The Alice Chronicles. Turning to port at full sail will tip us over! Exactly! How else do you expect us to rescue Jack Sparrow? I mean, reach the playing card base Neverland. She said port, yet the ship is tilting starboard, which further proves that no one on this ship knows what they're doing. Ships hitting the bottom like this do not continue to gain speed. This works and everyone lives and no one is hurt and the ship's not damaged. 60 seconds of bullshit. Our work here is done. Freaking those pirates to a watery grave? That was your work here? Oh good, still on a boat. Still might as well be a pirate's movie. Amistad 2 or Cloud Atlas. Oh look, a Lewis Carroll Easter egg. That's the closest this movie gets to the source, by the way. So she made it back to London the same year. You can learn more about this journey home in Alice Through the Suez Canal. Captain. A female captain in 1875? Really? I like Alice as much as the next bored moviegoer, but this movie stretches the bounds of reality a bit too much, as the movie will go on to take great advantage of for lazy humor's sake. You and the Wonder have been expected for over a year. I'm afraid Lord Lascott passed away whilst you were at sea. Not sure how they knew to meet Alice at the docks a year behind schedule, but couldn't pass along news that her main financier is dead. In case you weren't aware, this impossible butterfly is magical as f There's a handy sound effect to let you know. No other company is in the business of hiring female clerks, let alone ship's captains. <laughs> <laughs> and did you hear the one about the wife being in the kitchen? Sign over the vessel and you will redeem the house. Honestly, all this is rushed and f***ed up, but not as rushed and f***ed up as that dress. Sea captain is no job for a lady. This feels like an argument mother and daughter should have had before she served a year or more as an actual sea captain. The last thing I want is to end up like you. Widowed with a bratty kid? Can't blame her. Then she storms off, and this is the first movie all over again. This might as well be a rule credits here, I think. Also, why this house, this room, and this mirror? Even if the movie ends up offering a lame reason for it, it's random as f and stupid as hell. Next movie, a magic oven will be Alice's portal to Wonderland. Curious. You spent the last movie in an alternate reality? Why would you find anything weird to be curious? Oh no, not again! Maybe don't sit so close to the edges of things, Humpty? And he will be gone before long. Who will be gone? The goddamn pronoun game invades Wonderland to infuriating results. And do mind your step. <laughs> he said that instead of just outside that door is a free fall in the sky because he didn't really want her to mind her step. He just wanted to give the audience a laugh because he knew full f***ing well what was outside that door. Point Break, Alice Edition. Alice survives this, presumably because she's the size of an ant, but actually I don't think she's tiny anymore here in this place given the size of this garden pool, but wait, what was I saying? Oh, f*** it and send it twice, let's move on. Thankfully, half the characters she met last movie are currently having art class around the very flower bed she just fell into. And I'm more certain than ever, Alice is just taking drugs and I'm being forced to watch her hallucinations. Thank God your clothes shrank with your body, am I right? No one wants to see Alice naked, except for calculating, calculating 40% of this movie's audience. Wait, what? And no scheme of ours can raise any sort of smile. We'd rather hope. You might help us save him. So you assholes brought Alice back here because the Mad Hatter stopped smiling? Do I have that right? That blue paper hat. That just happened to be right where they were for some reason. That triggered Hatter to remember everything that ever happened to him in his life. Hatter's house is a hat because f subtlety. So if this hat survived, my family must have too. Terrible logic that will prove true. We had a terrible fight. I never said I was sorry when I had the child. Hmm, okay, Hatter has some daddy issues, fine. Not only were they not addressed last movie, they feel super tacked onto this movie just to justify an Alice return plot. My Alice could bring my family back to me. All at once I want to say, of course you can, and no she can't. He said to make him better I must bring his family back. But that's it. Cannot be. Unless it could. These movies in a nutshell. Go back in time. But how? The Chronosphere. I mean the Time Turner. None of us can use it because we've already been in the past. So is Alice. She's been to Wonderland at least twice before. It's not impossible. Merely impossible. This lion made it into the movie. In the hands of time. It is. I'm sorry. Time is a he. She says this instead of saying, I'm sorry, time is a person? The director and set designer had an obvious disagreement about the definition of enough cobwebs. Find Time's castle, borrow the chronosphere, travel back in time to Horan Vendish Day, save the Hatter's family from being killed, and thereby save the Hatter. Well, when you put it like that, yes, it does sound... I see your see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil reenactment movie. I don't understand its importance or relevance, but I do see it. Good job on the Three Wise Monkeys reference at an odd time. Really stupid decisions. Okay, here are 45 sins for this Sasha Baron Cohen Time Master bullshit scene, which is just a huge time-wasting MacGuffin of f***ery. I started writing sins normally, but got really f***ing annoyed and decided to go with this massive sin bath. And lest you don't believe me, here's a sped-up version of all the sins I wrote for this scene before deciding to go wholesale. 
Oh man, that's bad. Oh, remember that. I'm glad we're fast forwarding this. It's like a ship! How convenient that Alice knows how to navigate a ship. Thankfully, this time machine bubble she conveniently figured out how to work after 30 seconds has a Mad Hatter setting, which ties nicely with her personal goals for using this time machine. Also, Alice is going back in time in Wonderland. The sequel wants to have its cake and eat its prequel too. I don't know what that means, and it's vaguely dirty sounding, but I still think it's an accurate statement. I want to But is that even possible now that she's in the past? Does Time Dude have multiple chronospheres? Are you screaming for no reason? Take care, dear Alice. All our hopes fly with you. Anne Hathaway is the real villain of this movie. I don't mean Morana the White Queen, I specifically mean Anne Hathaway. Roland Emmerich did the production a favor and stepped in to direct this sequence, so as to help make it less believable looking. The chronosphere randomly adjusts to a very important day that Alice didn't know about and wasn't looking for. Also, it just so happens that almost everything she needs to know to finish her adventure takes place there. However would you stop people from laughing? Put a bag on her head. <laughs> <laughs> yep, movie is seriously attempting to make you feel sorry for the Queen of Hearts. That's actually happening. People of Witsend. Wits end. Wits end. Really? Are you trying to piss me off by describing me when watching this movie? This ceremony was attended by 75% humanoids, 4% frog fish things, a rabbit, a cat, a dog, two monkey things, and two Harry Potter griffins. If you're to be a hatter worthy of the high top name. Johnny Depp is four years older than Reese Ivins, the actor playing his father. You cost the princess her crown. Do you know what this means to us? He's telling you right now. If my father sent you to change my mind, you will. Alice doesn't immediately say, no, you sent me to change your mind, you idiot. And so this scene continues for some time. But if that moment never happened, there'd be no Hornvendish Day. Now, get back to 1875 and kill Hitler's 15-year-old mother. Alice realizes that to save the day with time travel, she'll actually need to use time travel to go even further back than she thought, and I want to die. Also, sure was nice of the princess to tell this whole story about her sister's accident right at the moment so Alice could hear it and realize what to do. And we're back in a Pirates movie again. This movie is like Jack Sparrow went on a date with Tim Burton and ended the evening f***ing Salvador Dali in a cheap motel owned by the Bates family. Don't be the don't worry, men! We can do this! Do what? Why are you even still characters in this movie? What the f*** is going on? Greetings, underlinks. <laughs> I am time. Why is Sasha Baron Cohen doing a Christoph Waltz impression for this character? She took something from me. I would not say what it was. But it was the chronosphere which lets her travel through time. But I'm still able to do the same thing even without the chronosphere, which is rather convenient if you ask me, but whatever. No room. <laughs> Plenty of room. Ladies and gentlemen, this f***ing movie's definition of comedy. It's great that the chronosphere has pictures that are significant to the movie's characters to indicate which time she is traveling to. Imagine if it had other characters from another story that we aren't familiar with. That would be very confusing. It's nearly six. Yeah, you cut that kind of close. Although that ink drawing on the paper time choosing apparatus in your time machine doesn't seem to offer much control on when you arrive. He makes the best hats in wit's end. Would you like him to make you one? Instead of saying no, I have to go save you by stopping a horrible accident, Alice goes with him. Alice is really stupid, I think. You're eating all the tarts. You can have the crust. I don't want the crust. Already, I think the Queen of Hearts deserves to have an accident that makes her head huge. She's a jerk. Now out of my kitchen. I cannot f***ing believe the Queen has to cook. This is by far the most unrealistic part of the film. Is it true that you heal all wounds? <laughs> Time is on my side. Why is it you wait for no man? Puns here, get your ice cold puns here. Stop, you'll ruin it. God damn it, I'm getting upset. This movie is making me angry. And you know what happens when I get angry. I cuss even more than f***ing normal. Tara? I'm too hard on him, Zenit. You weren't even here, lady. You saw a kid crying and guessed the dad was a dick to him. Which, yeah, it's true and stuff. But my point is, you didn't see sh Maybe that kid just got spanked for lying or stealing tarts or some sh You don't know. And she doesn't even take the hat. So she wasted almost all her time to stop the accident by coming here with Tarrant and then not buying a hat. Seems worth it. But I'll tell you this, if she's too late to stop the accident and some more hijinks happen, I'm gonna be pissed. Man, that other chick is the worst crumb hider ever. I didn't eat any tarts. Why are these crusts under your bed? Okay, first of all, if those crusts were actually under the bed, you wouldn't be able to see them this easily. Second of all, yeah, the Wendy's mascot sister didn't do anything wrong here. The other chick ate the tart, and you know what? That seems like standard sibling fuckery to me. Not an excuse to run away like this chick does. And of course, she's gonna hurt herself. Alice learns the lessons of 12 monkeys the hard way. You can't change the past when you fuck around wasting time at the Hatter shop. You mean this movie is pointless? Beat you to that conclusion by about an hour, movie. What happens if time dies? I'm only asking because, well, he's time, and he's also one of this movie's antagonists, if not the main one, which means he either has to die or get banished or imprisoned or something, none of which would seem to leave him free to be, you know, time. The Horn Vendish Day! Wait, you know the Hatter's family didn't die on that day. Do you seriously need to go back to that day as a witness to figure out where they are in present day? 
Can't you just go back to present day and tell Hatter his family's alive and then start a search for them? How fucking big is this Wonderland world anyway? It's like England size, right? Thankfully, and apparently all mirrors are portals for Alice. I'm all for it as long as it brings us closer to the end, but it's still bullshit. Now she's not even in Wonderland anymore. Fucking great. Now she needs to find another mirror to go back and then figure out what time period in Wonderland's history she's even fucking in. And it's going to give this movie an excuse to keep going another 30 minutes or more and fucking fucking I'm going to break the physical Blu-ray disc of this movie once I'm done sending it. I mean it. Textbook case of female hysteria. Dude, you should have beers with the guys from the beginning of the movie that barely think a woman can even keep the books. You'd get along great. Dear Hollywood, doctors do not squirt out part of the medicine to f***ing test if a syringe is working. How you ever got started on this trope I will never know, but knock it the f*** off. Alice needs to escape this facility, yet upon seeing stairs, she goes up. That is a terrible strategy for escape, because helicopters haven't been invented yet, and she's not Jason Bourne. Oh wait, she is Jason Bourne! What the f***? This is now the second item vital to someone's livelihood that Alice has stolen for her own selfish ends. Also, let's hope the cabbie and his family don't starve to death. I really don't know if that horse is insured. The time machine destination parchment shows a monster, and Alice doesn't even try to change it to something else before proceeding. Cheating lightning dragon attacks Alice while she's still time traveling, and also, f my life right now. Heart of all this movie's bullshit. Alice spotting the Hatter's family from this distance in a goddamn forest fire is among the bullshittiest. The astonishing thing isn't that the Hatter's family survived a monster attack, it's that a paper hat survived a fire. He's barely ticking. What's he dying from? Missing his family? And suddenly, since the last movie? Time wasted time at tea with the goofballs instead of just coming here first to the lair of the person he's in evil league with. You let her get away! No. Time is, for some reason, intimidated by this regular Wonderland person. Sure, she yells a lot, but Time clearly has more power than any character in this movie, and strangely chooses to be a brash dick to everyone except the Red Queen. The only reason these guards are made from vegetables is so she can do this. Otherwise, vegetable guards make no f***ing sense whatsoever. She's the Queen of Hearts, not the Queen of Veggies. F this movie is a dickhead. Alice had time for a costume change before saving Hatter's family. This pan-up shot is some weird homage to Scooby-Doo. Oh, they've been turned into ant-sized people and put in an ant farm. Of course! Also, thank God he noticed this, right? And another thank God for the fact that the real ants didn't somehow kill and eat the shrunken human family once they were imprisoned in the ant farm. And for the fact she managed to keep this family and take it with her after being banished in the last movie. Oh no, now the evil person has the chronosphere and she's gonna go back in time and learn the same you can't change the past lesson Alice learned. But it'll take 20 more minutes and basically consume the finale, which is awesome. How does she know how to drive this thing? Even Alice fumbled around a bit before figuring it out. What the f*** ex machina? She ate my snowsuit. Having the evil chick's employees help the heroine because they've been mistreated by the evil chick is so Wizard of Oz, I think it's considered passe. But if it'll get me closer to the end credits, I'll overlook it. Just kidding, I won't. We've got to go now. Because seeing her former self not only killed both hers, but also apparently kills the castle both hers were in. I think I'm supposed to feel bad about Anne Hathaway's character turning to red and being frozen in place. But honestly, that she did with the tart crumbs? That's bad enough. I'm fine seeing her get ironically punished. The end. I hope. Oh, so our world is fine. F them then. Alice shouldn't have stolen that time snitch. Oh, f your fucking face, Uncle Movie. You're a boner biting bastard, Uncle Movie. Reverse of everything we just spent the last 10 minutes on. Fun. I love how time turns out to be a good guy, only after literally being forced to see the truth about the Red Queen and Alice. He's time. He couldn't have seen this moment happen ahead of time and just be a reasonable dude the whole movie. In the end, it all boils down to sister issues and that fing tart, which still makes this the Red Queen's fault, since she was bogarting all the non crust parts of the tarts. Please forgive me. Well, she probably will because movie, but she probably shouldn't because tart. That's all I ever wanted to hear. So, all the evil stuff was what? A cruel portrayal of a woman suffering from mental illness caused by a severe brain injury? Also, Anne Hathaway is getting off way too easy. This family generally ignored or hated him before, but now they will love him solely because he made them big again and not because they actually love him. Whatever. I'll take what I can get at this point. Credits, anyone? I'm afraid he most certainly is not. Alice got done with her Wonderland adventure literally just in time to save her family's future. Cast him into the fire! This is a lovely room of death. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? You don't need your meat. You can't have any money. You see, I used to think time was a thief. Life is so brief, and time is a thief. Kill him. Kill all of them, I command it. Now's the time for all the men to seize the moment. It is said that time is a friend to no man. I am no man.
cool pan up over a giant clock shot, but I'll remind you, this is a level within a level of what was already probably a drug overdose induced dream state. Let's not make like physics is all that important, okay? It's the time guy's castle, so of course it has to literally be a giant clock. Yep, she's still wearing that terrible dress. Why did the gate open for? Is it automated? Is there no security here? Does it open for everyone? Yeah, you don't care. You just want to get to the scene where she talks to the time god, and I can't blame you, even while I myself get stuck on the mundane questions of the event. Dialogue like this. I'm going to guess this giant frog washing dishes back here signifies that this is Wonderland, because human-sized frogs don't exist in regular human land, which makes me wonder how much power this Borat Time Lord has if he only has power over the Wonderland realm. And also, holy sh**, is that a portrait of a Gungan? Nearly two hour movie has time for the magical dressing of the Time character, who definitely hasn't already been self-indulgent whatsoever. So being time, I must give some of myself for you to have me. Movie basically admits to the stupidity of personifying time while time maintains the same properties that it does in the real world. Couldn't he just be the keeper of time or something? Do you promise to be concise? Well, I can most- Because if there's one thing I do not like, it is people who are unable, unwilling, or uh, un um, compelled to form short sentences. Irony. My friend is in mortal danger. No. But like, why? Nothing actually happened to make him ill. There was no curse or spell, no physical ailment. He basically threw a temper tantrum and changed his physical appearance. That's not mortal danger, that's going goth. Behold. Discount Wonderland Big Ben. The magnificent grand clock of all time. Somehow, this is the mother clock, despite the entire castle being a giant clock that kills most folks that approach this castle. So the clock and the clock dude with the clock in his chest are one. Got it. Weird and arbitrary, but got it. The chronosphere powers the grand clock. And yet mere seconds ago, you were manipulating time with your chest clock to speed up her speech. The evil queen of hearts is such a frequent guest here at the time castle that she has her own heart-shaped entrance. And wasn't she banished in the last movie? My darling. Of course the time guy Alice needs help from is in love with the main antagonist from the last movie, because of course he is, of course. I'm sure you're right, but that is also a huge leap in logic right there. Oh look, Queen of Hearts wants the Chronosphere too, and right at the same exact time Alice is here for it. What are the odds? No wait, don't calculate the odds. I'll be too depressed to hear them out loud. You ask the impossible, my dear. I cannot give you the Chronosphere. Do you think he meant for that to rhyme? Or is this just a sh Tim Burton production he's somehow too good to direct? Alice went from this to this during that cut to the time guy in Queen of Hearts. She defeated an entire Indiana Jones worthy trick maze of many pendulums and it all happened off screen. The seconds in TikTok land rip off the Transformers and the Minions all in one fell swoop. Alice accidentally herself into the solution with surprising ease. 